Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Fixing Diablo 2. Today we're going to be talking about another aura on the paladin tree, which is a little bit of a redheaded stepchild. And I'm not a redheaded stepchild, so before you even make that joke. Now, uh, <laughs> what are we talking about today? We're, we're going to be talking about the one offensive aura pretty much on the entire tree, which hasn't lived up to its expectations, and that is Sanctuary. Now, Sanctuary does some pretty ridiculous stuff, and um, it's actually a, a topic that I've covered pretty extensively. If you guys haven't seen, I do have a video. Um, let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Uh, where I basically actually tried to make a Sanctuary Paladin. And um, it's actually quite interesting trying to make a Sanctuary Paladin. Because um, basically what you get by making a Sanctuary Paladin is um, a very powerful character versus Undead. But, I mean, that's about it. Um, this is my theory craft right here, uh, theory crafting a sanctuary paladin, and um, and I went over the process of trying to figure out what the ability does, what it's good at, what it's not good at, etc. Blah 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 blah. And you know what I came down to the conclusion of? I came down to the conclusion of is that sanctuary is very powerful. Um, let's go over sanctuary real quick and let's talk about this. So what are the pros of sanctuary? Well, number one, it rips. Physical immunity from undead. Um, which basically means that even if a monster is immune to physical, it basically rips that physical immunity away from them, which is extremely powerful. Um, number two, it knocks targets back. Uh, which makes it a very safe aura to use. Um, I'm not entirely sure I like the knockback effect, but it's part of the skill, and so I feel like it does need to stay. Um, number two, um, it gives you a bonus damage to undead, um, and this was fixed in one of the recent passages, so it gives you bonus physical damage to undead, uh, which is actually kind of nice, but honestly, this is way stronger than this. Uh, why does my bonus have an E on the end? <laughs> um, on top of this, it also gives you some, some additional... Uh, magic damage, which is really pathetic, to be honest. Uh, pathetic. Um, it really needs to be bumped up a little bit. Pathetic. Why can I not spell today? I'm pretty sure I spelled that wrong. Uh, there's no spell check on this to tell me that I spelled it wrong either. So, um, On top of this, um, it does have to be used in place of other auras. Now, this is a really big thing because um, if it's, uh, you know, competes, competes with other auras uh, because there's so many other good auras within the game right I mean maybe I want to make a holy fire or holy freeze a holy shock paladin or maybe I want to use fanaticism well fanaticism gives me a huge amount of damage too and so why would I be compelled to use sanctuary over other auras well the answer to this question is is this rips the physical immunity off of undead now what would I do to fix sanctuary to make people more interested in using it well, I would give it the same treatment that was given to Holy Bolt. Holy Bolt was allowed to damage a demon as well as undead. And um, in this particular case, I don't see anything wrong with being able to damage demons and undead, right? So, um, actually, this goes into the cons. <laughs> um, cons, number one, competes with other auras. Number... Well, I, I press two. I hate it when my hand gets off on the keyboard. All right, number two, only damages undead. So if we make it, um, if we make it damage demons as well, I feel like it would become a lot more useful. Holy Bolt, which was very a very useless skill for a long time, um, when it was allowed to to actually affect demons as well as undead, became an amazing skill. Um, Fist of the Heavens suddenly came back to life. Everybody was interested in making FOH pallies. Um, the Holy Bolt suddenly came back to life. Everybody wanted to make Holy Bolt paladins. Um, now, this would have some pretty interesting ramifications because it would also remove physical damage, um, physical damage reduction or immunity, essentially, from not only undead, but it would also remove it from demons. Now, changing this means that it would become very useful versus a large variety of monsters in the game, um, and it would also become very good versus bosses as well, because it would rip down physical resistance of bosses. 
Um, it only works for the player, by the way. So it doesn't make everybody have physical damage reduction uh, from, you know, versus undead or break physical immunities versus undead for everybody. It only does it for the paladin. Um, it also, just in general, I mean, it's a very useful aura because it's on a couple items. So if you have never actually utilized this item, uh, this, this, this aura, um, there is actually a couple... A couple of these. Let me see here. Sanctuary Aura. So um, it is on uh, two different items within the game. I said couple. I was right. Uh, Azure Wrath Phase Blade and the Lawbringer uh, Sword Hammer Scepter Rune Word. Um, and uh, basically anybody using those particular items could get the same physical damage reduction versus demons and undead. Or, and, and, you know, and break immunities, which would be really interesting. I think, honestly, um, changing Sanctuary to work against demons is the play. Uh, it's a very simple fix. Uh, keep everything basically the same as it currently is. Just make it work versus demons as well as undead and move on. Um, some people might say remove the knockback, but I think the knockback is kind of fun with the ability. I mean, yeah, some people don't like the knockback. Some people do like the knockback. Um, I don't like the fact that it's a knockback on a melee ability, to be personally honest. My my personal opinion is is that a melee character should not have a knockback. Um, and unfortunately, he does have a knockback with this ability. But um, at the same time, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I like the usefulness of it with the knockback because there's a, a couple different ways that you can utilize it. Uh, with a couple different characters to actually get that knockback to protect you, right? It's very, it's actually very useful for protection because it, it actually does knock the monsters away from you pretty well, and it makes kiting extremely easy uh, versus undead. Uh, but it's only versus undead, right? Um, I think once you change it to demons, it's going to be knocking back everything on the whole screen for the most part, with the exception of the beasts. And um, obviously it won't work in the cow level. Um, it'll still have its limitations. They're just like Fist of the Heavens currently has its limitations of places that it can farm. But at least you could potentially make a Sanctuary Paladin at that point. You could potentially actually make a freaking... You know, a really cool sanctuary paladin. It'd be interesting to see how that rolls. Um, I I actually spent a long time trying to theory craft a sanctuary paladin, and, and my my conclusion is is that basically it's just not possible. Um, it does work as a fairly nice utility aura. Um, if you have a, a Zer Wrath, if you have a uh, you know, um, if you have the uh, the Rune Word. Um, Lawbringer. I don't know why the, the word just left my head. You can uh, you can get a pretty nice uh, effect out of this. Um, unfortunately, Lawbringer has relatively low physical damage, and also as your wrath has relatively low physical damage. They're both very bad with physical damage. The, and the thing about Sanctuary is that the main benefit that it has is it gives you additional physical damage. So unfortunately, putting these on kind of like gimps your physical damage, which is unfortunate. Um, in the very thing that you need for Sanctuary to actually get the physical damage that you need to hit kill the target. It's it's kind of like a catch-22. I don't know who designed those particular weapons, but they should have been designed with more physical damage if they were going to be given Sanctuary, um, which leaves Sanctuary on, on the swords really only useful to characters that can utilize two weapons because you need one high physical damage weapon and you need one, you need one weapon that has Sanctuary on it. Um, and the Paladin is probably the only one that can utilize it properly with a high physical damage weapon and actually, you know, swinging that weapon with the Sanctuary or equipped. Um, it does actually outperform fanaticism and concentration and might in terms of physical damage output, specifically because it reduces physical resistance, which is really the big thing. Um, it reduces the physical resistance of the monster basically down. And it's like, it's like having permanent amp damage versus those particular targets. It's, it's amazing. Um, but turn it into, you know, just, just to recap one more time, you just give it the ability to, to damage demons as well. We'll make it work against demons. I think that's the easiest fix for this ability. It's the easiest way to make this thing useful across the board and make people want to put it on as an aura and also make people want to put on those swords because it would give you the ability to break physical immunity versus demons as well as undead and it would increase the utility of this aura massively. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys like, watching my videos. Even when Mr. Nimoy or Mr. Dusty Buns doesn't want to come out and play because he's taking a nap. He said, leave me alone.
<laughs> and as always, keep watching.